Good morning from beautiful Southwest Wyoming. Yes, you heard that right. I'm not in my home territory. I'm uh, at my grouse camp. I'll be here for a couple of weeks. I'm the first one to arrive, so for this morning at least, I'm the only one here hawking, which is okay. Over the next few days, uh, more falconers will arrive and we'll have a good time. Anyway, I've got um, Cosmo and Clyde, my prairie falcon and jerkin, out gonna look for some sage grouse. It's overcast. I think it said 46 degrees when I left camp and um, taking forever to get light. It's light enough now to fly Clyde. He'll, he doesn't need tons of light to fly. Um, and, and it's legal, of course. It's um, just taking forever because of the overcast. So we'll get up here, get the wind right, and put the dog out and hope to have some action. It may not fly Clyde first, might fly Cosmo first, but um, we'll see what we get. Just bumped a grouse. Let's see if we can see it land. Yep. that direction, oh, pushing 100 yards. Wind's blowing about 10. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Nah, Clyde's still being stubborn slow to get going. Let Astro out and go bump him again. Astro. Just being slow to get going is something Clyde's always had. is only annoying trait. You can tell he's still laboring to fly. Still got short feathers and out of shape. Very high. Oh, we got a flush. He was out of position and low. But he's a jerk falcon, he could chase that down. Kettle! Astro, cattle! Okay. 
Oh, he's still going. I see something flying. Is that grouse? Did some flying? He's chasing them? Or is, oh no, it's ducks. I busted ducks off the pond. Yeah, it's a big group of ducks. He must not have caught it. Driving by, must have bumped the ducks and he chased them. Okay, he landed again. So he obviously didn't catch his grouse. I don't know if he can see me from here. Help! Woo! Man! There's a bit of a hill, he probably can't see me.
out to him. It's a little closer because he's still a thousand feet away. It's quite full this year. It's usually dry, but it's a wet year. In fact, I see him right there overlooking the pond. If he's got any go left in him, I'd fly the ducks, but I think he's spent. Oh, there go the ducks. Yeah, he didn't chase him, he spent. Hey! Come on! Up! Come on! Up! I'm not gonna stoop him today. Let his muscles recover a little. He had yesterday off, but I can tell he's laboring still. Taking longer this year to get back going. Hey buddy. This is nice to know this pond is real full and has lots of ducks in it because we're, we've got a limit of one grouse per day for falconer and um, if you got more than one bird and you get lucky with the first one, it's time to find a duck slip. Or if you don't find any grouse slip in the morning, it's starting to get late in the morning, you don't want to fly because of eagles. You can go fly a duck slip quick. Okay. Well, wasn't the best flight in the world. This pitch sucked, but we're still getting there. But we found grouse pretty easy. Hadn't even run the dog yet. Work it out. There's 
definitely some scent here. It could just be old scent that he's working. But he'll figure it out. Good scent there. Well, I'm not positive there's something there. But since Astro's foot was sore the other day, I'd really rather not run him too hard. Too close to the grouse, you'll bump him. He's pretty solid now. Yeah, he's flagging a little. completely left it, so it must be nothing. Stopping at that same spot. I really don't think there's anything there. I expect Cosmo to fly stupendously well today anyway. I'm way too close to get out, but the way I've been driving back and forth, if it hasn't bumped yet, it's not likely to. My doubts that there's even anything here, but we'll see. Yeah, 
she doesn't like the rain. I'm gonna go see what he was smelling, just out of curiosity. I mean, there could still be something farther up. I'm gonna lure her in, but I wanna wait till she gets back on the wing. <laughs> she saw the lure in my hand. Not the greatest of weather for grouse camp. Rain, rain makes mud, I hate mud. But we're out hawking sage grouse, so how bad can it be, right? I knew there was a good chance there was nothing there on that point. Astro was real uncertain. But I don't want to run him too hard, I want to save his leg. Whatever was sore, and he's quit limping, because. I'm gonna need him. It's tough when you only got one dog. I mean, I've got two, but only one that is ready to fly over. I think I'll work her a little bit harder. Get her used to flying in the rain too. Not like a hawk in the rain barely at all, but it's good to get her used to all kinds of things. Astro, come! Save your leg! That's probably good. Well, for the first day at grouse camp, it wasn't horrible. Birds didn't go up, obviously, and didn't have much of a chance of catching a grouse, Some Cosmo didn't even show her one. But that's okay. I'm gonna run Pongo just a little bit here. Normally we're real selective where we run young dogs at grouse camp because we don't want to disturb grouse. You know, we might be wanting to hawk later. So we go to areas that, there's some areas we never like to fly our birds because they're close to bluffs where the eagles hang out and other stuff like that. That's always a good area to, to get a young dog experience. Or explore in a new area that if we don't know if there's grouse there or not, we'll explore it with the young dog before we hit there with birds. But I'm the only one here and might be for a few days, so um, I'm just going to run a little bit. No real worry about disturbing too much because there's plenty for just one guy at this point. We'll get a few more, we'll have to be a little more stingy. But um, hopefully, it doesn't rain too much, get too muddy. I hate mud, it makes camping difficult and all that sort of stuff, but we'll take what we can get. And as always, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.